Poof! Oh, wow! <laughs> so it's box day. You know what that means? That means Brad's very excited. Box day is really one of my most favoritest times on the channel. Not because the stuff in the box is super high quality. Oh no, we know that half the stuff in this box is going to be dollar store tat. So, this theme is a retro Justice League theme. I should take a picture for the thumbnail, shouldn't I? Oh, the coffee's on the desk, hold on. I, I never take a good thumbnail picture. Hey. Okay, how's that? That's the thumbnail. So as you can tell as well, I haven't actually opened this up on account of all the white stuff stuck to the back, which has addresses and stuff that I don't want to show you because then you'd all know where I live. And most of you are probably fine, but there could be one psychopath in the whole bunch that comes here and decides, you know, I'm going to cut your head off with a backyard saw. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm not showing my address, but I am going to cut open the plastic here and have a little ripsy doodle, a yanksy doodle, pull off all the plastic and display the box in all of its glory. I love these boxes, as I've said previously, probably in every video, I keep the boxes. I'm not sure if the camera has a wide enough view at the moment, but I have a stack of boxes there. I got a bunch over on the shelf over there, and I actually use them to store the figures that I'm not currently displaying. And it's perfect because, you know when you collect your figures and they're in different sets, like maybe you've collected some Arkham City figures, and you've collected some DC Direct 80s style Justice League characters, and you're like, I don't have enough shelf room. You can put them all in their own individual box and label them, and then you know exactly where and what they are. Anyway, okay, let's let's open this good boy up. It's the front. Remember, I haven't, oh, I didn't even show you the front of the box, did I? Front of the box. Well, now I'm gonna have to show you all the sides up close, aren't I? Side of the box. Other side of the box. Other, other side of the box. Other, other, other side of the box. I think that's it. Yeah, you've seen the back, you've seen the front. This is my favorite box so far, at least for box art. Now let's open it up. You know the drill. I flop the top and I grab something from the inside and I don't know what it is. That's the card, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm gonna open up my drawer and put it in my drawer so I can't see it. And then I'll consult it later if I need to. Okay. First we have, oh, I know what this is. This is the figure. And it is, oh, it's not the figure. <laughs> usually, usually when you get a box this size, it's the figure. So let me just put away my sharp implement of cutting. And, oh, it's cut, it's mashed. My box is mashed actually, right here in the corner. It's okay, I'm not gonna keep the box anyway. So let's say it is a Justice League pint glass because nothing says justice when you're getting completely hammered, like drinking your alcohol, your beer, out of a Justice League pint glass. Way to represent the Justice League. Get face down at the pub with me Justice League cup. All right, let's separate the styrofoam. And, oh, this is cool. You know what this looks like? This looks like something I should never put in the dishwasher because we also know what happened to my flash glass. This will never enter my dishwasher and it's quite, quite dirty. Yes, it is very dirty. I'm not gonna drink anything out of this yet, but I will later. next thing in the box is this time it is indeed the figure I think yeah it was the figure okay and it is the green arrow yep I, I do I like these I know that that uh, they went to making busts for a while there Wonder Woman Dark Side uh, Clark Kent Superman but really I, I do prefer the actual figures I suppose I should do the uh, the look around with the boxes right there you go. That's all you get. That's all I get. Because I want to see what's on the inside. And, oh, get out of there, Ollie. 
Oh, this is one of the best ones yet. I like these. I know that these aren't top-notch figures. I get it. I, I totally get it. This would be like 10 bucks if you found it in a shop in the mall. But I like these. I feel like these occupy a very interesting place in my collection. I've got a bunch of them. I still don't have them all. I don't have Wonder Woman or Cyborg or Green Lantern. <sighs> now, I'm not going to pull all of my little statuettes up because I've still got the Joker and I've got some crouching tiger hidden Batman and Robin. Uh, Superman, one of his pegs broke on the side there. So now he won't. Oh, crap. Now the, <laughs> now the other one broke. <laughs> Well, geez, but I really, really like these. This uh, Flash seems kind of bigger than all the rest of them. I don't really care. And then we got Batman. He seems kind of smaller than the rest of them. I don't really care. And then Superman. Oh, there's a spider on my on my table. There was a spider on my table. Oh, now I feel bad. That poor spider. He didn't even see it coming. Superman's gonna have to go in the cup. Yeah, I I, I really do gotta get Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and the Cyborg because. They're completing a little Justice League. Okay, let's move the non-box related figures out of the way. Just place them carefully in a pile on the floor and get the next item out of the box, which is something fabric. It's t-shirt material because it is in fact a t-shirt. What's the front look like? Oh, well that's cool. This looks like an old like matchbook trading card from way back in the day eh. or like, like or a cover of an old school world's finest comic oh, I got extra large between you and I I don't fit an extra large anymore I am certainly getting back on the dieting and exercise and not drinking too much beer horse but at this point this shirt won't fit me which means my son's gonna claim it if it'll fit okay fine I'll try it on No peeking. I did, I did warn you that I can't fit in this thing. That's the sleeve. Oh no, you know when the shirt is like, it's all, it's all like, it rolled up at the back. <laughs> oh. It's one of these shirts. A noisy shirt. Oh, I love this shirt so much, but it just doesn't fit me properly. All right. I'll wear the uncomfortably tight shirt for the rest of the video since you ask so nicely. So apparently I had the shirt on backwards. Show them the fact that there's no label on the front, dude. Okay, now now show them the label on the back. Oh, drat. Turn around. I had it on backwards. I thought that the picture went on the front. What's next in the magical box of DC Superhero Fun? Something else fabric, comes in a bag. It's either a face cloth, a dish towel, or something you wear on your head. I have no idea what this is. I know it's Martian Manhunter related because you can you could tell. I mean, that's clearly Martian Manhunter, but what is it? What Martian Manhunter thing is it? It's... I still don't know what it is. Is that? It's an apron! That's an apron! Well, this is fun. I don't really know when I would use it. I am so going to make my wife wear this one day when she makes dinner. All right, t-shirt, apron, cooking bib, if you will. We got Green Arrow, we got a pint glass. What else is in the magical box of fun? Let's, let's find out together. Because I really don't know, what's this? What is it? It looks like a bag, but it's all folded together like a note that gets passed around in high school, only bigger. I What is this? It is a bag. It's a sh it's a shopping bag. It looks like a dude with his arms up in the air. Why am si oh his head fell off? 
So clearly there's a little pouch here, a little, you know, to, I'm not, okay. I'm gonna consult the card and, and read what this is after, because I don't, I know it's a bag. It's clear it's a bag, but what exactly the bag is for, I don't know. It actually looks like a, like a muscle shirt. It just needs some mustard stains on the front. Okay, we're gonna put that over here, just on the, and move on to the next thing. Because I can't read the card yet until I've grabbed everything out of the box. So this is Brave and the Bold, Justice League America, Star of the Conqueror. Is this a napkin holder? Napkin holder. This is a napkin holder. Okay. Let's open this bad boy up. So maybe you're having a, a barbecue and you got to have your napkins out on the picnic table. Or perhaps you want to put this on your kitchen table. Facing off against Starro. Very iconic. Yes. Very good. And then what else do we have? What is this? Oh. It is a plastic man. Bendy straw. Well, I know exactly who is going to want this. My eight-year-old. Do you like the straw? You're recording me, aren't you? No. It's not mine, Dad. <laughs> Actually, I got a funny feeling my oldest and my youngest will be fist fighting in the kitchen for it. Here's the back, too, by the way. Gotta pull out my sharp implement of cutting. So essentially, this is just like, I gotta cover my face so that the camera doesn't try to focus on me. Essentially, this is just a bendy straw with a little clip-on rubber plastic man face. So it's nothing too exciting to tell you the truth. This is like the kind of thing that maybe if you were at Six Flags and you were in their theme park gift shop, maybe you'd find this in like a cup filled with these or something like that for like, I don't know, two dollars or something or a dollar fifty. This is what's known in the common tongue as box filler. What's next in the box? What's in the box? What's in the... There it is right there. And it is... Oh my God! Yes! 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 You have no idea how much I need new salt and pepper shakers. Li right now, literally. I can't make this stuff up. I need salt and pepper shakers. Okay. So, this is kind of fun. You got that classic... Batmobile on the front, and then you've got the salt and pepper shakers. That's that's an automatic yes from me. These were needed. This is a needed item in my house. Anything else in here? Yes. Of course, the most important item. The bag of silica gel. Don't eat this. So, let's just go through everything we got. We got the Jose Garcia Lopez pint glass in desperate need of a run through the not dishwasher, however, the sink with a soapy cloth. We got the green arrow, probably my favorite item. I live for these cheaply made little statuettes. We got the napkin holder. We got the salt and pepper shaker. We got the straw right here, put that in the glass. We got the bag. Oh yeah, I gotta read about that. And then we got the apron right here. And we also got, we got the shirt also. I sense a theme to this box was, was kitchen stuff. That would go in your kitchen -y stuff. This would go with your kitchen stuff. We got a glass, we got a straw. We got the apron. That's all kitchen stuff. That means I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is a grocery bag. This is probably a grocery bag. Let's end the video off with me actually learning what this thing is. And then I'll let you go back to whatever it is you're doing. Superman, it says Superman tote. That's, I guess that's just a generic name for a reusable bag, I suppose. I'm calling it a grocery bag. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for tuning in, watching this video. I really enjoy making these because it really gives me a chance to unwind and be silly and off the cuff 
and just have a good time while I'm making them. I hope that you have a good time watching me have a good time. Maybe you don't get these boxes and you live vicariously through me watching me open it. At any rate, hopefully everyone has had a good time today. And I'll see you with the next one. Have a super awesome DC day, everybody. And take care.